Hello Pisces, this is your reading for February 7th today. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. So what's going on for Pisces today? I feel like you guys are, you know, finding some balance in your life, loving yourself here. And um, maybe some of you are even spreading the love on your jobs, okay? In your home, with your friends. Hmm. Now, one second. Sorry, guys. I thought somebody was at my door. All right. Let's see. Pisces. Oh, hmm. There's something that you guys want to discuss with someone, or somebody wants to discuss something with you about how they're feeling. Okay, about an issue that maybe, um, maybe a three-party party relationship, or something that they're just feeling really disappointed about here. Okay, maybe you guys have moved on from someone. Or maybe there was somebody that was in and out um, that maybe, you know, had you guys in a three-party relationship. <clears throat> you guys did not have a solid um, relationship. Or either, th this is you guys moving on from those feelings of being hurt, being, um, you know, cheated on, or, you know, just removing yourself from situations like that and really working on yourself, concentrating on work, um, you know, building a life for yourself, a better life for yourself here. Okay. Hmm. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Definitely somebody I feel wants to um, address something with you. And I feel like this person really wants to work on something, um, building a foundation uh, with the relationship. Okay. And I feel like this is Virgo, Taurus type energy. But I feel that um, you guys have moved on from being hurt. I mean, you know, it's still there. Of course, it does not ever go away completely. Um, you still kind of have it in a backpack. <clears throat> and you have it there. So you will not allow yourself to, you know, be involved in situations like that, you know, ever again. But you guys are moving on. You're interested, um, diving into your work, you know, focusing on yourself, going to get your hair cut, going to get your nails done, um, you know, going shopping, doing doing things that make you feel good, okay? And then, you know, getting your money up, working on, you know, your business or, or whatever, whatever interests you outside of, you know, whatever hurt you, okay? I think you guys are leaving that behind. But I feel that somebody's moving in slowly, okay? And they're trying to figure out, um, you know, how to approach you. How to approach you with an offer to, um, you know, work on this relationship or rebuild this relationship even, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was there's definitely a breakup here. Um, a, a breaking down of a foundation that was already shaky to begin with and maybe is due to um, some sort of betrayal, distrust, even disappointment, okay? And you guys are starting over. I feel going towards new things, um, new endeavors. Then you have the King of Swords here. Definitely somebody wants to start anew with you guys. Somebody wants to build with you. Aquarius, Libra, um, Gemini energy. Uh, again, Virgo Taurus, I feel here as well. Maybe a fire sign. Aries Leo, Sagittarius energy. Scorpio's here as well. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Somebody that was very closed off before, I feel, um, emotionally, come, comes across aloof, um, non-emotional at all. You know, they, they approach things from a very logical standpoint. They want to think their way out of everything, you know, even love issues. 
and um, but you know they hold back a lot and I think they hold back to protect themselves here and I think that's why they're moving in slowly because they really do not like um, to give away the upper hand and I feel like they this person feels like they would give away their you know their advantage if they came back um, that they would have to kind of suck some things up they would have to open up if they want to rebuild this connection and so they're really thinking about this and they're planning okay Capricorn energy here now they're planning okay so let's see what the outside influence is for you guys oh the five of swords I feel like this is somebody that again you know I, with the five of swords of course is winning at all costs but of course there's no winner in this situation but again this person does not want to give up their upper hand okay they don't but at the same time they know they may have to they may have to they may have to like tuck their tail if they want to rebuild this connection with you they're gonna have to fight for it instead of kicking against it because I get the feeling that somebody um, this this is like self tap sabotaging um, energy here they're very conflicted very conflicted. You guys probably have argued about several things here. Um, several days. A lot of conflict here. They're really thinking about this. Hmm. I think, you know, this is the outcome right here. Okay. And this is all about confusion. Having options. Or having the illusion of having options here and moving away successfully. So, you know, I feel like this is you guys, okay? Anything that's not clear to you, um, I feel like you will leave this mess behind, all right? If this person is like ambiguous in, in their words or, you know, however they're coming across, because they're very intellectual how they approach things. But I feel like if something's not clear to you, if you feel like this person, you know, still has a lot going on, I feel like you will move away from that. You will leave that behind because you realize that you don't need that. You don't need this. Okay. You don't need this type of energy that you can be successful elsewhere. Um, you know, people find you attractive too, and you don't have to put up with this sort of energy where somebody feels like, you know, you are one of many options. No, you're not with it. And so I, I see you guys leaving this type of energy behind today. You're just not having it, okay? So this person is going to have to come with it, like seriously. So we have Scorpio, Leo energy. Um, I think I told you all the other signs here already. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a Romance Angels card to close your reading out today. See what they have for you guys to say to you. That one wanted to flip over, so I'm going to take it. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. There are two people in this card. Okay, and I feel like this is more so a message for um, the person that you're dealing with that, um, you know, to remove all the, you know, exterior forces, all the um, outer influences. And if they want to reconnect, not worrying about what other people say, what they think, and just let it be, you know, you and them. And then, you know, see if you guys can reconnect that way. Okay, so that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you soon.